Hello, everyone. My name is Wang Yun, and uh, I am the product manager for Word Extensibility. And today I will talk about um, upcoming preview Word APIs. So in March, uh, we will release several sets of APIs, and I will uh, quickly go through each API set quickly today. Uh, and hopefully we can have a, a further detailed introductions of each one in upcoming community calls. Uh, but today I will quickly go through those. And the, the, the first one is the uh, new insert file from Base64 Base API. So if you have ever used this uh, API previously, we already have insert file from Base64 at the body level in the past. So the, the past behavior is that uh, you know user uh, users can leverage this API to insert the content from a document into the uh, the current document that the user is working on. So as uh, shown in the the picture here, you know on the right side the, uh, it is the source document, and uh, if um, we want to insert the content of this document into the left side, then the the body dot insert file from base six. For API can be leveraged to do so. So the current behavior for this is that after you call this API, you actually can insert the certain content into the target document, as shown in this picture. That the content, uh, the sentence is is just appended to the target document. So this this is the existing behavior, and this is the uh, the um, API at the body level. Uh, and also for this body dot insert file from base64, um, you know it has another behavior um, that um, if the source document that you want to insert into the target has a, a much more richer format. For example, if the source document has uh, you know different fonts, different styles, uh, style settings, and also you know borders, watermark, etc. When the user tries to leverage the API to insert these things into the target. It will fail to uh, the fail means that you know only the text content will be inserted into the target document. But uh, what are loose um, those watermarks, header, footer, or page border, and stylings are all lost during this uh, process. So. We make a enhancement. Uh, the, the the reason why we we lose all those things was because that many of these settings are not at the body level. Uh, they actually are at the, at the section level level or the document level. So that's the reason why we introduce a new API with the same name at document level so document object will have a, a new api uh, with exactly the same name the purpose here is that once the user wants to insert a source document into the target then we want to retain as many things as possible so in the example here example one a user wants to um you know import or insert a file with different things like page borders, watermarks, etc., into a blank document, then these things will be retained uh, after the insertion. So after the insertion, you will see the page border, header, footer, watermark from the source document. So that's first behavior or first uh, um, feature. And also, if the target document is not a blank document, uh, which means that the, the target document also contains different page borders, uh, footer, header, those settings, then after the insertion, we will create a new section. And um, the new section will keep the source document settings. So if you take a look at the result in the picture, you know we if the user want to append the source document content into the target document, then those uh, page border header things will be kept and appended into the document as well. So this is um, uh, another enhancement we do for this new API. And also instead of uh, keeping these content level things, 
we all uh, we also um, select several document level settings to give the user the choice to uh, to see whether you want to retain these settings or not when doing the insert file from base 64. For example, track changes. If uh, you want to retain the track changes settings when doing the insertion, now we provide you the capability to see whether you want to do that or not. Also, uh, it is the case for the style uh, settings. For example, in this example here, um, the source document has a style setting. Um, and also for for the target document, it has a different style setting. But after the insertion, the user can choose whether to whether to keep the source document styling settings, uh, et cetera. So this is the uh, the new enhancement we do for this API. Uh, and just note, be noted that you know the original insert file from base 64 API at the body level continue work uh, working as previously. So we, we didn't change uh, the behavior of the existing APIs, but this one is the newly added one at document object. So that's for insert file from base 64. And next one is style APIs. We receive different requirements. And uh, here I just show a sample add-in that can demonstrate uh, the, the requirement. So the, the requirement here is that uh, the, the add-in wants to uh, not only apply the styles into, uh, to the document, to the paragraphs, but also the add-in want to select different styles from some other document. Uh, in this example here, if you take a look at the side panel here, the word add-in actually can list different styles from another document. So in this case, the user, uh, the add-in will choose some specific styles from th another document and apply them into the current one. So if you take a look at this picture, you know, the, si uh, the, the left panel, uh, the task pane actually shows the, the styles from another document. And after the user click one of the styles, and this style will be applied to the current document and also the users can choose whether to apply these styles into the style gallery or not. So we have a set of APIs to support this scenario. So basically there are two major capabilities here. Uh, one, one is that we can retrieve and pass the styles from a base 64 format of a Word document. So this Word document can be another document, or it also can be the current document that you are working on. So once the base 64 format is there and you can retrieve and pass uh, different style settings and retrieve different types of the styles, including the used styles in the source document or the customized styles that created in the source document. And after you retrieve all types of the styles from the source, then you can have another API to apply these styles to your current Word document so that it, it will have the, the, the user not only say, hey, I want to choose some specific fonts to form a style, then, you know, the add-in now can be that, uh, you know, uh, I can select some specific look and feel from another document and then apply that look and feel into my current document. So that's that is the basic working flow. And next, that is the the save close APIs. So for save and close, now we provide two APIs so that you can save an existing document or you can save a new document. Um, so there are different cases whether you need uh, the, the prompting dialog is needed uh, in order to specify a file name. And for close APIs, we also provide the support for new document and existing document. But for close API, uh, the current behavior is that once you choose to call it, after you finish the calling for the close API, the add-in will disappear and you don't have the, the control of the add-in anymore. So this is the current behavior of the Office add-in. 
But uh, in the future, we could have some enhancement there. But uh, today, you, you will lose the control there. And the next set is Fields API. I know many of our partners asked for this for years, uh, actually. So Fields API in 1.4, we actually released a support for get fields functions so that you can retrieve and get different fields from your document. For the upcoming preview, now we have the full support like create, update, delete fields capabilities. In March preview uh, version, we will support selective types of the fields. So we will start with the adding type and uh, uh, later on uh, may expand to other types. So in March version, you could see one, two or three types of the fields there to have a try. And this is not only enabled for Word desktop, but we also do many enhancements for Word Online so that your add-in can also work for Word Online for, uh, for the specific types of the fields. Content Control Event APIs. You may already know that we have different Content Control Events APIs in the preview already, but we added two recently. Uh, so one is to enter a Content Control and exit a Content Control. Again, not only API, but also the Word Online capabilities was uh, was enhanced. That you know, Word Online support more Content Control features so that your add-in will work across the platforms. So previously, the first four event-related APIs are there in the preview set for a while. Uh, we are expecting to have all these six APIs moving into GA state in the middle of this year. So that's the quick briefing for different APIs as preview in March. Uh, and again, these APIs will have highly possibilities to be GA'd in the middle of this year. And we also want to collect your further feedbacks for future enhancement requirements. So please scan the QR code or, or click the, the link here so that you can enter into a survey for future advice and suggestions to us. And that's all. Um, thanks very much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Yun. That was a great update. Yes, please fill out this feedback form. We'll also add it into the chat and also will be in the blog post in case you forget to do it this morning. Mm -hmm.